Hey everyone, it's Jenny W. And today I wanted to share this pendant with you that I've made. It is a Memorial Ash pendant. Uh, it's my first pendant that I've ever made with ash or someone's remains. I'm very happy with how it turned out and the people that purchased it are also very happy with it. Um, let me start off by telling you what I've used. I've used UV resin, uh, regular resin, seashells, of course the ashes, uh, a bale for the back, and then a, st uh, not a sterling silver, but a stainless steel silver ball chain. Um, there's the ball chain. Obviously it's about 20, 21 inches. Sorry, there's Mod Podge like on my fingers. These are shells that I've used. Um, some of them are from the beach from when I went to Florida a few years ago and I crushed them up and then some are just wholesale seashells that I purchased that are just small enough that they look really good in the pendants and stuff. And I got this nifty little jar from Hobby Lobby for like a dollar. The UV resin that I used is this. It's uh, from Handcrafter on Etsy. It's UV hard type resin. I need to purchase more of that. Um, sorry, I've got this Mod Podge like on my hand and it's looks kind of gross. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in some more. Oop, too much. Okay. All right. This here is one of the wholesale seashells. Um, this here I bought wholesale to the starfish. And then there's another one. Um, this shell, this shell, and this shell is um, from the beach and they're just crushed. This is where the ash is. I used a separate little mold for the ash. Sorry if you hear the weed eater in the background. My husband's in the backyard weed eating. But this, I used a separate little mold with UV resin and mixed the ash up into it. They did request uh, there to be a couple of chunks in there. So, you know, right here obviously is a chunk. Um, sorry if this video is disturbing to anyone. I'm really sorry, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out, so I wanted to show it off. But here's the pendant. And then the back of it has a really pretty butterfly bale on it. I think I'm going to do all these bales on the Memorial Ash pendants. I think they look really pretty and I think they look really good. I just, I'm so happy with it. But this is one person's order and they added onto their order um, they wanted this um, Alice in Wonderland teapot that I did. They wanted it. Of course, this is not an ash pendant. This is just uh, some gears and a watch and little flakes in there. All of these molds though that I've used, I've purchased from Handcrafter. And then this here is another one that they wanted the anchor with the arrow in it and that's it um, if you have any questions uh, please comment below if you'd like to purchase your own memorial ash pendant please check out my Facebook page um, you can follow me on snapchat my Etsy shop is connected to my Facebook page and uh, yeah that's about it hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching